Let's do this. Conan O'Brien just saw the Will Smith slap. Anybody have a late night show I can borrow for tomorrow? Kimmel, what was the Vegas line on the Fresh Prince punching Little Penny in the face? Pat Oswald, very nervous for my shows at the Irvine Improv tonight. Anyone have a catcher's mask I can borrow? Trevor Noah, who's hosting the Grammys pretty soon. WTAF, that wasn't scripted. Jim Gaffigan, I'm still disgusted. We don't deserve the brilliance of Chris Rock. Someone named Jay Reiner, MD. When you're a star, they let you do anything. You can do anything. Signed, Donald Trump and Will Smith. Kathy Griffin, let me tell you something. It's very bad practice to walk up on stage and physically assault a comedian. Now we all have to worry about who wants to be the next Will Smith in comedy clubs and theaters. Camel, I know the big story is the slap, but congratulations to Amy Schumer, Wanda Sykes, and Regina Hall, who were very funny. I hope that isn't overshadowed by the unpleasantness. Jim Norton, at this point, Will Smith being a cuck is the only thing I truly respect about him. Mark Norman, Ukraine, is now sending help to the Oscars. Kostaki Economopoulos, Denzel Washington, consoled Will Smith. Who consoled Chris Rock? Louis C.K. was going to do it, but his hands were full. Joe List, I'm just finding out now that there's not a G.I. Jane 2 in the works. Michael Ian Black, so disappointing that Will Smith played Muhammad Ali that he couldn't even knock out Chris Rock. Pat Oswalt. Kevin Costner's speech was incredible. Believe me, it's all anybody's going to be talking about. <laughs> J.L. Covan. Will Smith doesn't even know that the guy from CODA signed I Banged Jada last night. Ouch. Steve Byrne. Well, there goes my G.I. Jane material. Sam Morrow. Can't believe a famous celebrity smacked a comedian on TV and it wasn't Kanye. Eric Griffin. All these Hollywood peeps thinking, so we could have just slapped Ricky Gervais? Jen Kirkman. If Will's still feeling feisty, I have a list of male comedians I would love him to punch. Dom Herrera, I guess Comedy Central won't be doing a roast for Will Smith at Stark TTT. If Will Smith had done that to Dave Chappelle, Chappelle would be in his third uninterrupted hour of Jada jokes. Jessica Curson, what happened to Chris Rock doesn't shock me at all. A lot of people are weak, overly sensitive, enraged, mentally unstable, and can't see the humor in anything anymore. If you can't find humor in life, I truly feel sorry for you. What a horrible way to live. Jim Gaffigan was responding to, I don't know what, but tweeted, All right, bad comparison on my part. I was trying to make a point, but it doesn't matter. FYI, I didn't think the joke was brilliant. I said Chris Rock is brilliant. I still do, and we don't deserve his brilliance. Please continue to defend physical assault. It says so much. That was in response to somebody tweeting at Jim. Ian Edwards, this is why I don't watch the Oscars. Too much violence. Sam Morrill, that was the biggest hit Will Smith has been involved in since the 90s. Whitney Cummings, Scientology wins again. Sam Morrill, between Rock and Zelensky, comedians are cool under pressure. Nikki Glaser, the Oscars prove that Hollywood is alive and well, still doing what it does best, protecting and celebrating disgusting behavior. Mark Normand, thank God Chris Rock didn't take a shot at Alec Baldwin. Judah Friedlander, assault is terrifying. And just about everybody at that theater acting like nothing happened is terrifying. What a terrible show. Jill List. I think we're not talking enough about how Will Smith initially laughed at the joke. Sam Morrill. Will Smith just won an award for being the best actor, but he couldn't act like a human being during a joke. Jim Norton. Will Smith attacked Chris Rock, then helped us all heal by explaining how tough God's plan for him is. Fortune Feimster. Love will make you do crazy things? Uh, no. David Spade. A G.I. Jane joke? Nikki Glaser, the way everybody was on board at the end, gross, gross, gross. Roy Wood Jr., Trevor Noah, you gotta hose the Grammys from behind some check cash and glass. It's real out here, fam. Sam Morrill again. Amazing, you can still reach Rock's level as a comedian, and you still play gigs with no security. Nikki Glaser, wait, remember when Will laughed at first? And Joe Zimmerman tweeted, what was your worst gig ever? Chris Rock's answer, well, way back when I was 57, this unhinged man took the stage and hit me and security didn't do anything. He just kept yelling and I had to settle him down myself. And right after I got off stage, they gave the guy an award. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Johnny Mac with your daily comedy news. Did you hear Will Smith slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars? Did you hear about this? Is anyone talking about this? This is a full on bonus episode. There was a normal episode in the feed earlier today recapping the Oscars Amy Schumer part. Anyway, remember when that was the story and the regular news So don't miss out on the regular episode. It is a little before noon. I have been putting this together for four or five hours and could continue. The jokes coming out of comedian Twitter are just endless. So what I'm going to do here, this episode is all Chris Rock. Tomorrow's episode will be quote unquote normal. And I'm just going to sprinkle in Oscar stuff as it develops. In case you missed it, Chris Rock got up to present. He was riffing, he made a joke about Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz, and then he turned his attention to Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. 
And he said, Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see you. In reference to her hair, Will Smith appeared to laugh at the joke, then suddenly started storming the stage. Now, I was watching this live, and it looked like it was a bit, even to the point where when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, I still thought it was a bit. And then when ABC hit the dump button, the mute button for like a good full 90 seconds, I was like, wait, what happened? And then when they cut to Will Smith, clearly visibly angry, even though we couldn't initially hear the words, I was like, ooh, what happened? A few minutes later, somebody shared the uncensored version from uh, the Australian TV feed on Twitter. And that's when the Oscars, it was a complete distracting. Like I just, I was refreshing twitter endlessly meanwhile up on stage there's pacino and de niro whatever who cares and it was like all these big moments got completely overshadowed kudos to chris rock he took a slap to the face and stayed cool you know it took him 20 seconds to kind of recapture the what just happened here but he hosted the rest of the segment chris rock is a pro i salute you chris rock said wow will smith just smacked the s out of me Will Smith was yelling, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. Chris Rock said, wow, dude, it was a G.I. Jane joke. Smith, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. Then it was weird. You have hosts, but the hosts weren't immediately on. When Amy Schumer did get back on, she had a good line. She said, wow, I've been getting out of that Spider-Man costume. Did I miss anything? Which is a pretty good line. We'll talk about Jimmy Kimmel's reaction in a little bit. And I think Jimmy has the right take here. Amy Schumer added, there's like a, a different vibe in here. From Deadline, sources tell Deadline that Chris Rock later approached the Smiths, possibly to apologize, while Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry spoke with Will Smith during the commercial break. Bradley Cooper was also seen in a conversation with Will Smith. P. Diddy had the next segment, and he said, Well, Chris, we're going to solve that like a family at the gold party. For now, we will move on with love. Little awkward there. But what are you going to do? So now the entire internet is buzzing about this. Even my son at college gets wind of this. He's texting me, is this real? I'm like, yeah, it's real. And I told him, there's a good chance Will Smith's going to win Best Actor here. You might want to put it on. So he started watching. And sure enough, because TV is awesome, Chris Rock wins Best Actor. Now, here's my question. Are you allowed to just get up and smack somebody? Or do you have to be Will Smith? Like if the guy from Best Documentary doesn't like a Chris Rock joke, can he get up and clock him and go back to his seat and then later win an award? What is the rule there? I thought it was really weird that Will Smith wasn't asked to leave. He slapped a guy in the face on national television and he still gets to sit there. I've heard from some people who said that Chris Rock should have known better than to go after Will's wife. We can debate that another time. There are clearly ways you can handle that, such as, I don't know, heckling or DMing the guy later and being like, that's not cool, dude. I'm not sure that walking up onto a stage and slapping a guy in the middle of the Oscars is the best move. And again, I think Will Smith should have been removed. You can't attack a comedian on stage. Like, you just can't do that. So Will Smith wins Best Actor because TV is awesome. He says, I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to all my fellow nominees. I hope the Academy invites me back. He did not apologize on stage to Chris Rock, who he slapped in the face. Will Smith alluded to what happened with reference to Richard Williams, the father of tennis sensations Venus and Serena, who Will Smith portrayed in King Richard. Smith said, Richard Williams was a fierce defender of his family. In this time of my life, in this moment, I'm overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. Making this film, I know to do what we do, you've got to be able to take abuse. You've got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you've got to be able to have people disrespecting you. And you got to smile and pretend like that's okay. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said to me, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. But I want to be a vessel for love. My take there, I, I feel like Will Smith could have gotten up and said, um, wow, hey, uh, I, I want to apologize to Chris Rock. Uh, but, you know, when somebody comes at my wife, I, I'm going to protect her. Like something like that. I don't know. That he's even still allowed in the building is crazy. It's crazy to me. What are the rules? Are there apparently no rules? Chris Rock apparently will not be pressing charges against Will Smith. That according to the Los Angeles Police Department. LAPD investigative entities are aware of an incident between two individuals during the Academy Awards program. The incident involved one individual slapping another. The individual involved has declined to file a police report. If the involved party desires a police report at a later date, LAPD will be available to complete an investigative report. Chris Rock did not comment. 
Chris Rock has up to six months to file a report. If Will Smith is charged with assault, he could face up to six months behind bars, along with a fine of up to $100,000. It is possible that Will Smith may be asked to hand the award back in. The Academy has strict guidelines in its code of conduct. One highly placed Hollywood source told the New York Post, it's basically assault. Everybody was so shocked in the room. It was so uncomfortable. I think Will would not want to give his Oscar back, but who knows what will happen now. After the awards, the Hollywood Reporter says Oscar winner Will Smith took a victory lap at the Vanity Fair Oscar party. Okay, Vanity Fair Oscar party, looking at you. Will Smith was reportedly dancing to his own hits as wife Jada Pinkett Smith cheered him on, and they told The Hollywood Reporter, it's been a beautiful night. The Hollywood Reporter says Smith seemed unbothered by the drama that happened on the Oscar stage early in the evening. If you want a good listen, take a listen to Jimmy Kimmel as the guest at the top of Bill Simmons' podcast that was published late Sunday, early Monday. Kimmel responded to the Conan O'Brien tweet, which I'll remind you was, just saw the Will Smith slap. Anybody have a late night show I can just borrow for tomorrow? Kimmel said, anytime you want to take it for a spin, it's yours. Kimmel then went on Simmons. Bill Simmons said it was the craziest celebrity altercation ever. Kimmel, yeah, especially when you consider the characters involved, the nicest guy in Hollywood. If Tom Hanks got up and smacked somebody across the face, it's the only thing comparable, right? Kimmel said he initially thought it was staged. I thought something was planned. By the way, you gotta hand it to Chris Rock. He barely flinched. He said Chris Rock handled himself as well as he possibly could have. You feel bad for a lot of people. The hosts had some really great moments, and now this is what people are going to be talking about. You feel bad for Questlove, who won the Best Documentary Award, and Chris Rock certainly didn't deserve that. But in a way, I feel bad for Will Smith, too. I think he let his emotions get the better of him, and this should have been one of the great nights of his life, and now it's not. And was there anyone in the world who didn't like Will Smith? And now he doesn't have a single comedian friend, that's for sure. Comedians are really mad. They all feel like they're next. Again, there's a normal episode in the feed from earlier today where I talked about the Amy Schumer part of all this. Uh, Tomorrow morning's 305 release will be a normal episode, but if more of this story breaks, I'll do it separately as an Oscars bonus episode. Follow the show for free on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, or if you get your shows. If you would like the shows ad-free, there's a premium option on Apple Podcasts, $4.99 a month. Gets you commercial-free episodes plus early releases. For example, as soon as I finish Tuesday's podcast, I'll publish it to the feed on Monday afternoon and the occasional bonus release. All right. Busy morning. See you later.